Hello, and welcome back to the Liferay DXP Backend Building Blocks course. Today, we're going to start the module Application Presentation and Customization for Liferay DXP 7.3. Uh, the key module takeaways, we're going to go ahead and learn about portlet actions and their effects on an application. We'll explore the benefits of using tag libraries and see what those can do for you and your application. And we're going to understand the process of enabling validation in an application. Uh, before you get started on the exercises, uh, some prerequisites that we have are Java JDK installed to run Liferay DXP. Uh, make sure it is a full JDK uh, and not just a JRE. Otherwise, you won't be able to properly run our uh, instance of Liferay DXP. Uh, and there's a link to go ahead and download JDK 8 in the description there. A Liferay Developer Studio installed with the Gradebook workspace project already created. Uh, just as a reminder, this is going to be what we are using in the exercises. If you have another IDE that you prefer, you can go ahead and follow along in that. But the displayed instructions will be for Liferay Developer Studio. And finally, the prerequisite files placed in the Gradebook workspace. These are going to be the files that were altered in some of our previous training modules. So you want to make sure that you have those in your gradebook workspace so that you can be sure that we are starting at the same spot. Uh, just as a reminder, throughout this course, we are making a gradebook application, uh, which is going to consist of a course gradebook with the following features that teachers can create assignments, students can send submissions to assignments, and then teachers can go ahead and grade those submissions. In this particular module, we are going to be focusing on uh, altering the presentation layer for this application, uh, which we'll do by going ahead and creating a associated web module for our application, as well as enabling some uh, portlet features. By the end of this module, our application will have a main view, an assignment editing view, as well as have some validation options enabled. Uh, the, some relevant KPIs for this module are going to be the ability to improve application security using validation and reduce the time troubleshooting code for missing dependencies. Thank you. Now we're going to cover creating web modules. Uh, web modules in Liferay DXP. In modular Liferay DXP applications, the web module contains the presentation layer. For example, blogs-web in the native blogs application. They typically contain the following layers, the view layer, which comprises the user interface, and the controller layer, which is made up of portlets. Our implementation strategy for our web module is going to be first to create it. Then we're going to go ahead and implement portlet actions using MVC commands. We're going to implement portlet JSPs using tag libraries. And finally, we're going to implement portlet validation and feedback. In general, these sets of steps will work regardless of what technology you're using to build your application. But specifically for us, this is the process we are going to follow. Uh, when creating the web module, it's good to know that Liferay DXP provides several module templates for building the presentation layer. Uh, these include MVC Portlet, which is a sample Liferay MVC Portlet component, a localization resources, and JSP files. FreeMarker-Portlet, which is used for UI with free marker templating language and portlet backend. NPM portlets, which are used for building UI with JS frameworks, package management with NPM. Spring MVC portlet, which is used for building a Spring MVC portlet. And finally, war MVC portlet, which is used for legacy war style portlets. Mm -hmm. 